Thank you, boys and girls. So today we are going to work on our snow scoop STEM challenge. So I'm going to introduce two scientific words to you today. We have criteria, and that's your, what your design must be able to do. And then we have conditions. These are like the rules that you have to follow when you're building your design. So you can only use the materials provided, and you will be able to get those supplies at the back. We will only have 20 minutes to build, and you can only use two fingers to operate the scoop, and you cannot directly touch the snow. So today we're going to be building a snow shovel and we're going to see how much snow your shovel can hold and how much time it takes for you to clear the driveway. So we don't actually have real snow, so we have a simulation of snow, which is we're actually going to use rice today for our, for our snow. Anthony, Lydia, Jacob. Okay, so you're All going right. to be in charge of the materials. So listen to me guys, first thing you're going to do when you get your tray, you're going to get three craft sticks. We'll start with three. Get four. Get four. Okay, and then did you get four? Four. Now that you see the materials that you have, you have a pencil, so I'm going to give you 10 seconds to choose who is going to be the writer. And I want that person to raise their hand. So put your heads together and think about who would be the best writer for your group. Heads together and then raise your hand if you're the writer. Waterfall. Thank you, so the writer is your job now is you're going to, on your planning sheet, you're going to plan in your space here what it is that you're going to create. So you have to get the input from all your teammates of what you want your design to look like. And this is your opportunity to plan it, in other words, draw it out. So with your heads together, you come up with a drawing and then wait after you have those that part done, and then we will give the next step of directions. Do I have any questions or clarifying comments? Do you guys all understand what you're making? And yeah. a scoop that's going to get the snow out of the way? How do you do That is going to be an option for you to consider when you're making your plan. The optional piece of material is that you can use clips, binder clips. You can use clothespins, rubber bands, or yarn, but you're not getting glue, but you will get tape. Good question for clarifying. Any other questions for your design process?
hands off of our tools for right now because what we want to get on to is the creating part. Now listen to your options. Those are the materials you have available to you that are in front of you. You can use as little or as much. You can use all of the, every little piece there or not all of it, but you can get other materials. You can get a binder clip which Mrs. Childs is going to hold up in the back for you to see what a binder clip looks like. You can get rubber bands. I think people know what that looks like. Yeah. You can get clothes pins and you can get yarn. Now you will also receive a, a length of tape. Okay. So during your creating process when you're making this, if you're like, oh, you know what, I think that we want to use a binder clip or we want to get a clothespin, you need to send your material person over to the table and we will provide that material for you. Do we have any other clarifying questions about our materials and what we are allowed to use? Remember, our condition is we can only use the materials provided and our optional materials. When you're creating your design, you can only use two fingers to operate your scoop. And you cannot use your touch your fingers with the snow.
snow. Good job, Brayden. All the teams got snow in the balance scale, and now you have a chance right now, Mr. Florence is going to come around and you need to make improvements to your design. So you even want to get even more snow into your scoop. 